Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to talk about how to fix Samsung data migration cloning failed. We have two parts in this video. Part one: Seven solutions to Samsung data migration cloning failed. Part two: Free alternative to Samsung data migration. If you bought a Samsung SSD. And use Samsung Data Migration to manage your data. You may encounter such a problem. Samsung Data Migration cloning failed, and will give you various errors, just like the picture shows. However, there is no specific reasons for Samsung Data Migration error, but you still can try the simple and common solutions to fix it. Also, you can consider free alternative to Samsung Data Migration. Let's turn to part one to see the solutions. Here are seven solutions provided. Solution one: Disable hibernation mode. Open command prompt and type this command into it, and press enter. You should know that the hibernation mode is disabled by default on Windows 8, 8.1, or Windows 10. After you turn off hibernation mode, it will be fixed. Solution two: Disable page files. Right-click on this computer, go to Properties, Advanced, Performance, Advanced, and click on the Change button. Uncheck the option. Automatically manage paging file size for all drives, and select the option "No paging file." The cloning failed may be fixed after this operation. Solution three: Defragment the HDD. Type in "Disk Defragmenter" in the search box, and then you can find the defragment utility shown at the top of the results. Open it and defragment the hard drive. After defragmenting, your problem will be solved. Solution four: Disable system restore point files. Right-click on this computer and go to Properties, System Protection, and then turn up Restore Point Protection for the C drive. Then you can normally clone your SSD. Solution five: Shrink or extend C partition a bit. Reboot your PC. Type Windows at R to open the run box and input diskmgmt.msc to run disk management. And shrink or extend C partition a bit. Then connect the SSD to start cloning. Solution six: Decrypt BitLocker before cloning. Type BitLocker in the search box and select it. Then click Turn Off BitLocker. Here, mine has already turned off. Samsung data migration cloning might work now. Solution seven: Run Checkdisk command. To find out if there is a bad sector or not, press Windows and R to open the run box, and then type CMD in the window, and hit Enter. Input check disk, and hit Enter. You will see the bad sectors among the results. If there are bad sectors on your D drive, for example, you can keep inputting. Check disk D colon slash F slash R slash X to fix it. After that, the issue could be fixed. After all these steps, the Samsung data migration error should be fixed. If Samsung data migration still doesn't work, you will need this free alternative to Samsung data migration to help you achieve it. It can let you clone hard drive to SSD, no matter what kind of SSD you use. 
and it doesn't have a connection problem. Just Google Alme Backupper, download and install it. Let's see how to clone HDD to Samsung SSD with it. Click Alme Backupper and get into the interface of it. Here you can see some options on the left. Click Clone, then click Disk Clone. Select the source disk that you're going to clone and click Next. Choose the Samsung SSD as destination disk and click Next. Attention! All data on the destination disk will be deleted before cloning. So you can use Alme Backupper to backup your data first. Here you can see SSD alignment. This option is used to accelerate the writing and reading speed of SSD and it can extend the life of SSD. Due to our destination desk is an SSD, so we tick it. At last, click Start Clone to proceed. You can use a computer as normal and the cloning process won't be affected. After a while, it will be finished. Your problem has been fixed yet. It can be an excellent choice to try out my backupper when Samsung data migration cloning failed. Besides, it can also be used to create system image backup, backup hard drive, restore system when it is not working, and many more powerful features waiting for you to discover. That is all about how to fix Samsung data migration cloning failed. Hope you can get what you need after watching this video. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.